Yo, what's up guys, Delzinski here, and it's Sunday the 15th of December, which can only mean one thing, that tonight, it's tables, ladders and chairs. That's right, it's the final pay-per-view of the year on WWE's calendar, and I've got to admit, I'm actually looking forward to this pay-per-view. I haven't been this excited about a WWE pay-per-view event for a long time, because quite literally, for the main event, nobody knows what's going to go down. We've been promised that we will have one unified world champion by the end of tonight, but whether or not we're going to see a swerve here or there, I don't think anybody really has a clue. So will it be John Cena walking out as the unified champion? Will it be Randy Orton walking out as the unified champion? Or will indeed it be Triple H walking out as the unified champion? Only time will tell. Now in this video, I just wanted to give you a rundown of my predictions for tonight's pay-per-view. And I'm just going to list the match card and tell you who I think the winners and the losers will be. I'll give you a little bit of an overview of why I think certain individuals will be winning the matches, but not too much. So let's see if my predictions will be right. So the first match is the pre-show. It's Dolph Ziggler versus Fandango. And I am going to go for a Fandango win. The reason being... It's quite simple. Dolph Ziggler's not really too over at the moment in the WWE. WWE seem to not really be willing to push Dolph very far. I mean, he's had a massive decline since being World Heavyweight Champion. So I think Fandango will get the victory in the pre-show. Moving on to the next match, uh, the Divas Championship. It's AJ Lee versus Natalia. Well, this will be, for me, I think the first title change of the night. Natalia's had good momentum going into this pay-per-view and I believe that she will be crowned the new Divas champion. So I'm sorry Tom Kushney, but AJ Lee is not going to take that title with her throughout this pay-per-view. And I know you're a massive fan of AJ Lee, so it's going to be a disappointing night. But if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will give me stick via Twitter during the pay-per-view tonight. Next one is the WWE Intercontinental Championship match between Biggie Langston versus Damian Sandow. And I am going to go for a Biggie Langston win. And this one's real simple. WWE are not going to take the belt off Biggie Langston after they've just given it to him. They spent a lot of time building him up. They've spent a lot of time producing a homegrown talent, which is going to carry a belt. And that is in the form of Biggie Langston. So... It's not good for Damian Sandow. I think he's going to steamroll through Damian Sandow and retain his Intercontinental Championship. Sometimes I just think Damian Sandow deserves a little bit better. Now, onto the first of the three on one handicap matches. We've got two tonight on this pay per view, and the first one for me is Daniel Bryan versus the Wyatt family. Now, as much as I would love Daniel Bryan to join the Wyatts, I think that would be very interesting. And the fact that they would possess the most powerful beards in the wrestling industry today, I don't think this is going to happen. And I believe that Daniel Bryan will be victorious against the Wyatt family. It's as simple as the fact that WWE need to push him now. I can't see him picking up a loss um, going into the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and they need to manage to get him back in the main event a card area. So... Him winning this match makes perfect sense. So a Daniel Bryan victory in the first of these handicap matches tonight. The second match, uh, CM Punk versus The Shield. Again, a handicap match three on one. I'm going to go with, and again, I'm going with the singles competitor, CM Punk. But the reason being is because I think we're going to see more and more and more dissension within the ranks between the Shield members of Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and uh, Roman Reigns. And the reason being is this is because we've all heard that they're going to try and break them up. Um, Roman Reigns is going to get a big solo push. And I think this is the perfect time to make the cracks appear. If I was going to play this scenario out in my head, I believe that either uh, Roman Reigns is not going to make the interception when needed to save the likes of Dean Ambrose, or there's just going to be some sort of blame culture between Ambrose and Reigns, because I think these two are going to collide at some point. All in all, this is going to allow CM Punk to capitalise and CM Punk to get the victory. The other side of the coin could be that the Shield could get a victory and it would be down to the fact that Roman Reigns is having to rescue Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. I think that could work as well, but I'm still going to go with CM Punk. 
Next up, it's a match that's been thrown together. It's the WWE Tag Team Championship Fatal 4-Way match between Goldust and Cody Rhodes, the champions, Rey Mysterio and The Big Show. A bit of an odd pairing, but I guess you've got to do something with these guys. Uh, Ryback and Curtis Axel and The Real Americans. Now, this one, I don't really have a clue who's going to win this one, but I'm going to go with Ryback and Curtis Axel. The reason being is because these two have been on the back burner since joining um, or since being dispersed from being Paul Heyman guys. So I think to get them back in the mix, giving them the tag titles might just do them a huge favour. So I'm going to go with Ryback and Curtis Axel. If I'm actually picking who I want to win this match, then I want the real Americans because I really am a big fan of Antonio Cesaro. And I like the gimmick that Cesaro and Jack Swagger have. And also Seb Coulter is just a wicked manager. So I'd like the real Americans to win, but I'm going to go with Ryback and Axel for the pure basis that they need to uh, actually get some credibility back behind them. So, yep, again, a title change, new tag team champions in my point of view. On to the final match of the evening, the big one. It's the TLC match. It's the unified championship match between John Cena, the world heavyweight champion, and Randy Orton, the WWE champion, with Triple H from the authority looking on. Um, this one, I just don't know. Uh, I mean, I've been thinking about it a long time, but I still... Can't really pick what's going to happen. If I'm going to be rooting for someone tonight and I'm going to be in anyone's corner, it's going to be Randy Orton's. I want Randy Orton to retain his title and become the unified champion tonight. I will be cheering on Randy Orton to win this match because I'm just not really a big John Cena fan. Not only that as well, I think Orton's done a good job. Um, probably some of the best mic work that he's done in his career has been going on throughout this pay-per-view. So... Um, yeah, I would like Orton to get the victory, but um, the more I've been talking about it, and I have been um, with numerous sources, it just gives me that feeling that although Triple H has promised us a unified champion, some sort of swerve is going to happen. And the swerve that I think is going to happen is Cena's going to be down, Orton's going to be down, Triple H, the king of kings music, hits or he just comes strolling out and he looks up towards the belts climbs the ladder and pulls down both titles and walks out with the unified championship, leaving everybody wondering what the hell is going to go on. And this will be a nice builder to Monday Night Raw. I think that is going to happen. So I don't think we're going to quite get the uh, undisputed champion between these two. I think Triple H has a massive part to play in this match. What I'd absolutely love, dream scenario, is uh, John Cena to actually join the authority. But that is a long, long way off. Can't see that happening at this pay-per-view. So guys, they're my predictions. I will be watching the pay-per-view live tonight and I will be live tweeting. So make sure you follow me at Delzinski and you can interact with me during the pay-per-view. Let me know in the comments box below your predictions for tonight's pay-per-view, who you think the winners and losers will be. And as I say, it's going to be an interesting one, that's for sure. I'm very excited about this pay-per-view. On a side note, I have got a new series. Um, it's a WWE 2K14 series, and it's called Super Battles. So be sure to check that out. It features Superman versus Batman, WWE 2K14 style. So it's something a little bit different, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But until the pay-per-view itself, as per usual, please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Delzinski, signing out.